Oh my god. What's happened? What's going on with the bread truck? <laughs> I'm Paul Barger, and I'm the bread trucker. And I decided to undertake a renovation of the bread truck, and I'm really close to the deadline for the RTR. Now, what's going on with the RTR? Well, I have set up with uh, other step vanners, step van camp, a place where all the step vans can come together and camp in one spot for the RTR. The location is going to be at Scadden Wash. That's where everybody's going to be anyway. Partiar is going to be there. Uh, Hobo Tech has a camp there. A lot of people are automatically going to be drawn to that area. So we're going to have the Step Van Row camp at Scadden Wash this year for the RTR in 2020. Um, I can give you a look around the bread truck and kind of show you what's going on with it. I ripped about 75% of the truck out and and switched everything around. Total different layout. I'll have a new van tour coming up once I finish all this building. But so far it's looking good, but I have a lot of work left to do and I want to finish it by the time the RTR is here. I only have about 10 days to get it all done. It's a tight deadline and I don't know if I'm going to make it, but hey, I'll do my best and get done what I can. And Maybe there's somebody out there that can give me a hand with a little bit of carpentry and electrical on this thing because there's some really nice woodwork that I would like to go in here. Uh, I have a new cabinet here for the headboard. It's a huge cabinet so that it has space for my stuff and space for Ellie's stuff. We we'll each have our own cubby hole and I would like to finish it out really nice and neat with little shelves and stuff like that. So it would be great to get some help from a carpenter that actually knows what they're doing. I'm just winging it. I don't know what I'm doing at all. And I'm just trying to like put the truck together the best way I know how. I think it's come together pretty good so far, but I could use a little bit of help. Um, another thing that I could use a little bit of help with is the electrical on this thing. Um, I just took all the lights out. I have no lights in here anymore because I need to come up with a new way of setting them all up. They need to go around the roof. I don't want them direct light, like shooting light right in my eye. So I would like to reflect the lights off of something, which is how I used to have it before. All the lights shot up at the roof. But now that I have these nice new walls up, I have some places where there can't be light. So I need to like integrate some lights into the system and put switches everywhere. I need to wire up my water pump for my shower and my running water. Um, I just need to do some nitpicky things and I'm not good with that kind of stuff. I can do the best I can and I can make it work, but a professional that really knows what they're doing could really like bring it together and probably help me out in like a day and get it all buttoned up and done. So I don't know if you're out there and you want to give me a hand before the RTR, hit me up breadtrucker at gmail.com. That's my email. And you can also find me as bread trucker on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you around the truck a little bit. If you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for this video, and um, follow me along on my joint uh, on my journey. Um, I've been on the road for over two years now, and it is just awesome. The bread truck has come a long way, and it's a really nice home. So if you want to check it out, hit the subscribe button and officially join me. Today, I'm almost at the 37,000 subscriber mark. So there's a lot of bread truck uh, followers out there already, but I would like to make it maybe more like 100,000. That'd be really cool. Short-term goal, you know? Um, anyways, yeah, let's go for a little tour around the bread truck and let me show you what a mess I've got on my hands right now. So this is the only part that has remained. The bathroom and the kitchen is all still the same. Um, so for now, at least, I need to spend some time on this area once I'm done finishing the rest of it. So I really need to keep this sink empty so I can use it. It's been filled with stuff ever since I started construction on this thing. So let's look over here to the back. The first thing you'll notice is a nice big window. There's no longer a door. It is a huge window that goes all the way across the back of the truck. And I can just look out my window at the beautiful desert or wherever I'm at. May it be a beach or mountains. I love this new 
um, change that I've made to the bread truck. It is so much better than the door. I can't tell you what a nice window does for a rig. It's amazing. I think it will actually increase my um, professional looking level on the outside as far as this being an RV. With the door, it was kind of sketchy. People didn't know what to make of it, mainly the police. I think this will actually help me to get pulled over a little bit less. Um, in front of this back window, now there is a full-time queen size bed. I built the platform. I have it bent up out of the way because I was doing some sawing on this wall over here and I didn't want to get sawdust all over my bed, but I'm building in the middle of the desert and there's no place to put my bed. I can't like store it in a garage, so I got to do what I can. Um, on this side is the new headboard that just got put in yesterday. Um, I love it. I think it's great. I need doors and things put on it, but the skeleton is there and I think it's awesome. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of, uh, little, little things to it. Like for example, these little cubby holes will remain open during the day and the cubby holes will have everything inside like, um, electric for charging phones and, uh, extra batteries and things like that. I have a panel like this that will be going in here. Oops. Um, this is a little voltage meter, but this little panel will provide power and it'll be integrated into the headboard and there'll be one on each side. Ellie will have her own and I will have my own over in that one. Also, what I would like to do is put some lights into this. I would like to wire this whole thing up with power, 12 volt only, and have access to charging and lights and a bunch of nice little things like that. So let's go down this way a little bit further and get past the bedroom. Now we are into the kitchen area, actually the dining room area. This is a new addition that I have just made. This dinette is just installed as well. This used to be where my bed was. Now it is a couch, a table, and a bed. If someone would like to sleep, uh, if I have a guest, I have room for a guest. Uh, I just cleaned everything off this wall. Now it's just reclaimed wood in the one little kitchen cabinet over there. And that's that. Um, on the bottom of the benches, in that one over there, there is actually some storage if you lift up the bottom with a hinge. And then on this one, I have space for eight IKEA fabric boxes. I got all matching ones and I haven't switched them all out yet, but this is a great amount of storage and it's the bottom side of that bench on that end. So it's, it holds eight boxes of, of storage. So it's really a great space to put stuff. Then I have this as a new closet. My closet used to be in the middle of the room over the wheel well, but this new closet is uh, where all the hanging clothes goes. Let me open it up and I'll show you the inside. It's not very exciting. It's just hanging clothes, but as you can see, it's nice and organized. Everything's starting to get its own little place in the bread truck. And there's also two huge fabric boxes for storage at the bottom of the closet as well. So tons of storage. So we'll just close this back up. And that kind of concludes the changes that I've made to the bread truck. The whole layout is totally different. It's way better. And, um, I'm super happy with it. I just got to get this thing finished. So much work. If you guys are out there and you're here early for the RTR and you want to give the bread trucker some help, let me know. I could really use a professional hand at building the rest of this thing. Um, I'm just running out of time and I'm starting to get a little bit worried. So as you can see, it's a total mess out here and I got all my wood and working supplies right here stacked up next to the bread truck. It's a lot of stuff. Ooh, I got a little bit of wind out here. So I'm going to go back inside, but a whole lot of work. So that's it for my RTR 2020 update. Step van camp is that Scadden wash will be the same dates as the RTR, the 18th through the 27th of January, 2020. Um, that's everything. That's I, I. That's it. I, I don't got anything else for you. Uh, this is just a quick update video because I had to put something out there for you guys. Uh, wondering what's going on with the bread trucker and maybe get a little hand help and build this thing. So hit me up. 
breadtrucker at gmail.com or breadtrucker on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, any of those will work. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And I hope to see you real soon at the RTR. RTR 2020, Scadden Wash, Step Van Camp, Step Van Row, in full effect. Yes, be there. Join us. You don't have to have a step van. You can just come with whatever you got. I don't care if it's a Hyundai. Anyways, see you soon, guys. Love you lots. Bye.